For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that what is mean by RAID. So, why RAID we use uh, in so many situations. So, what RAID provides so that, um, let's see this, what Like, share, comment and subscribe It mean by So, RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks or we can also say Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks So, what this mean by so let's go ahead and see some example over here so here i am taking one example say that a single server without raid a single hard drive so this is a single server where it has only single hard drive so do not have any hard drives and um, maybe that hard drive size is 4 terabyte in size so that is a SATA drives and um, I store a lot of data in the sense uh, most of the my critical data or whatever it is so I store this data into my server or my clients uh, like uh, in LAN clients also will uh, store the data over here like example say that my um, uh, application data or maybe like our uh, regular files office files or uh, some presentations or something uh, a financial excel sheets all this information i may sure store into this sata drive so example same if suddenly the sata drive gone for a task in the sense the sata drive failed so any electronic device may fail at any point of time we cannot trust a single drive so, so the single drive is failed what happens so whatever the data your users are working on and whatever the data is stored it may be it may be important data or maybe not important data if it is not important data we don't bother to look it up that data right but if it is an important data maybe it is required for you to um, collect it back or recover it back so that you cannot recover it so your data is gone your your data is gone that's it because the hard disk failed most of the times uh, some situations if it's a partially failed you can recover using some recovery tools or maybe you can also take this hard drive into the recovery center and recover the data but that takes a, a number of uh, hours to be recovered is more comparatively like one four drive data may take around five to uh, seven days for only for the recovery process after that the files may come in a different formats and different uh, steps then you can do that but Initially, the hard disk is failed, your data is lost. In case of RAID, so what the RAID is? The RAID in the sense, example say you have a RAID controller and the RAID controller have multiple disks attached as a group. So, in this situation I have taken this presentation here is that disk 1 to 6, in the sense disk 6 disks are groups as a single hard drive if you can see from the uh, server side or if you can see from the uh, disk management side this all this show has a single drive itself so how it's going to be a single drive so i attach the six drive to the raid controller and the raid controller will define the raid level what are the raid level you use it so based on your application type or based on your requirement then the, the all the disks will combine as a single drive so what you will get over here if you do this uh, raid control raid controller or raid levels if you configure this using the multiple drives so what is the advantages you will get over here so advantages is that first of all availability so what is this availability you will get it over here is that if if you see in a previous example i say that one single hard drive is failed then your data is lost but in case in case of single hard drive failed in this RAID group, no problem. You can replace with the same hard drive type, then the data will be recovered automatically. You no need to bother. So that means that you are getting a 
almost all 99 percent in case of no failure it it in case of no hard disk failure then it's a hundred percent availability but in case of some hard drive failure so then you may get little bit of uh, degraded performance but data is available so reliability so performs consistently very well like um, all the data whatever new data is written to the hard disk is very very much consistent and uh, it gives you a lot of uh, reliability in terms and capacity example say if you take a individual drive which may go almost a 4 tb in size a larger size is 4 tb can go but if you want larger size of the disks more than 10 terabytes more than 15 terabytes like that if you want to go with that capacity levels then this rate will give you a big capacity in size like you can combine a multiple 4, 4 tb of the drives then you will get more than 10 terabytes in size like that if you have a database files which grow more than 6 terabytes 5 terabytes like that then this capacity will help us in storing the big data sizes and uh, performance performance is also will be very high example here i will tell you that if you uh, give some work to the one people the one people in the sense single person is doing a work he may take around 10 minutes an example then if you give that same work to the multiple in the sense distributed to the four or five people that may reduce to the two minutes or one minute so like if you comparatively single header is writing the data which will give not that much IO in the sense input output ratio will be lesser comparatively rate so the rate will whenever you are pushing the data example say if you are copying a 10 MB of the file to the single drive that may copy example a few seconds but if you copy the same data to the rate which will complete in a within a second itself so that's the performance level you will get using this rate so most of the times data loss prevention so in, in case of uh, single hard drive failures kind of stuff or in sometimes uh, with the different layer levels if uh, two drives also failed the rate can survive without data loss which means that which will prevent you from the data loss so that business critical applications or business critical data can be stored uh, in this rates so that you won't lose any data most of the disadvantages here right so comparatively a single hard drive it should be expensive because we, we have to purchase multiple uh, hard drives and um, rate controller so of course that should be an expensive but uh, it's require some data prevention data loss prevention so that it requires sometimes if uh, example say that if you have a raid 5 with a four hard drives but instead of in that two or three may fail suddenly due to an a for fluctuation or something like that then in that case if you want to recover those data it consumes a lot of time so that is a disadvantage over here but majorly there is no comparative disadvantages in raid the raid will give more advantage advantages uh, if you spend some uh, money and if you send spend some more uh, configuration extra configuration uh, in this so now uh, what is this raid level so raid levels available over here is that raid zero so it's uh, comparatively combining the multiple disks and uh, write the data continuously to the multiple drives and distributed and striping the data to the rate level zero which will give much uh, better performance comparatively single or two hard drives individually connected but if you connect in rate level zero it will give you the good performance but in case of any disk failure you cannot recover the data so raid level one is most of the like uh, mirroring like 50 percent of the data usage example say if you have two drives with one terabyte and one terabyte out of it you only get one terabyte of usable space so but in case of one disk failed you will get 
recoverable the mirror data will be available immediately to you in the sense there is no data loss but this raid level one would be the best option for using this is that um, installing in a OS uh, operating system in the raid level one would be a more more useful because sometimes if one drive is failed your whole OS is available on the other drives and uh, red level 2 red level 3 and red level 4 nowadays they, they are absolute they are not useful and they are not used at anymore and red level 5 is best for a large data stores example say that if you want to store a larger data inside the combination of multiple drives the red level 5 will give you a much more um, larger data stores and it can also give you a good performance and you can also use this RAID 5 best for the larger data stores and RAID 6 RAID 6 also will give you a larger data stores but it's highly critical application data is best for because this will give you a dual parity in a sense a multiple parity bits will be stored across the disk so that in case of multiple disk failures also the RAID 6 can survive the uh, it can prevent the data loss and RAID 10 so this is most of the times best for the database databases like uh, where if you want to install a Oracle databases or example say if you want to install a uh, DB2 databases so they recommend is that RAID level 10 is best for those databases like it will give you a more uh, performance and more IO to the databases and last one is RAID 5.0 so this is combination of 5 plus 0 um, this can also be used in most of the times that's about it guys this is about um, RAID levels how RAID works and what is the advantages and disadvantages and upcoming videos I'm going to explain each and every RAID level and how they are going to work and what are those advantages and disadvantages on each RAID level uh, in upcoming videos thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming video signed uh, courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask